Hey, good morning, everybody. We are back here in Richmond, and we are going to St. James Baptist Church, which is down the street from Antioch. This is what I was talking about. Um, another client that called me while we were in Chicago. Um, a bunch of areas, churches here in the area, got hit with the storm and all this other stuff, and it messed up a lot of stuff. And in St. James, they ended up calling me because after the storm, their audio got messed up, and their internet was messed up, and all this other stuff. And before I went to Chicago, I went there and saw that whoever set up their stuff had all of their audio coming through a camcorder instead of pulling from the house. So that wasn't what I was called for, but I ended up, you know, hooking that stuff up that way for them. And they're using the ATEM. And they were having some in issues with the internet because after the storm, I guess they had Comcast come out. And ever since they did that, the internet was not working. So they had everything nothing was actually working so they were going off of wi-fi and the wi-fi extender or whatever they had honestly was just horrible so pretty much i had sent out a estimate on getting their stuff done and pastor sykes gave me a call while i was in um chicago we ordered everything and that was the access point i was telling you about they got delivered that somebody stole from my porch but we had a bigger one left over from Chicago so that's what we're going to be installing we're going to be replacing the access point putting a POE switch there that will power that but then also give them a switch so that everything will be hardwired into the system and then try and trace what in the world Comcast messed up so that they have a um, active internet line going into their media booth um, and I know they told me that they uh, were looking at building a new sanctuary so you never know we may be able to kind of modernize their stuff as well too but let's get them up to speed so that their internet is back up to quality and their live stream is back up to quality and um, give a better experience for all the Wi-Fi stuff now I do have some new stuff that I'm gonna talk to y'all about um, ubiquity dropped their unified OS so this is the updated version of a cloud controller that you can do so if you don't have one of the big UDM pros or the gateways or something like this and you have one-off um, stuff like I did a couple of clients like that Guildfield Good Shepherd Baptist Church because that was before the UDM Pro that was the first big unified install that I did as well as uh, Big Red it was kind of a trucking company um, what that is done you can now have a cloud server that you can host yourself on your own equipment or like a a virtual server I got mine through DigitalOcean and I'm gonna link all of that there so that I can monitor it and then I don't have to put a cloud controller down anywhere because they don't really use those like that anymore um, but anyway that's what I'm gonna do and they should be there around like 930 it is 850 and you know we get here early so I'm gonna go do that and take you through the process hopefully it should be simple unless they really messed up their network stuff with Comcast but we're gonna chase that, figure it out, and then show you all the other details on how to add this stuff the new way, add an access point. So Anthony, if you're watching, this might be something that you can do to manage all your other clients if you've done access points and stuff like that too. So let me put the phone down and let's get to St. James. Alrighty, so like I said, we're gonna take this one down, put a line on this to test where this is connected to. Um, probably split this cable, because if it's, it seems like it's active, that might be the one that I split and go into our PoE switch that will power that, but also give all of these physical connections for everybody else. And mainly that's it, but let's test and make sure everything is working first. All right, so I'm gonna put a test on this to find where this is at, but more importantly, that cable has already ran through the wall so what I'm going to do is that POE switch is going to lift back here, splice into this line, splice into this line to split it. Might actually need to run a new cable there because I don't like the end on that. It's not going to fit on the access point. But splice this line, find out where it is. This is going to be the input for the POE switch. Then we'll run up, make a new cable for the ATEM, the laptop, both of the laptops, and have some extra space as well too.
All right, I was able to identify the line that was going into a PoE injector, but I passed that. This is the line, ran it directly into here. So now let's make sure that we get a signal on that end and then we can test. But ideally the whole goal is like, cause this 16 port is not even being used. The idea was consolidate all of this, put a rack mount, kind of like that 16 port that we just talked about at uh, Chicago. That could replace all of this centralized, this PO ejectors, none of that stuff would be needed. But again, documenting this for the future, get rid of that and then do a punch down. Um, a keystone want to make that easier, but um, let's get this stuff working. All right, I was able to identify the cable. We got the POE switch here. The white line is the one that leads back into that space I just showed you. The blue cables are the new ones we just did for the ATEM as well as for the laptop. Now, I do have the black one here. That is the one for the new access point. I need to get my screw driver on there to mount the frame, and then we'll go through the setup. All right, so we got it powered up. So I'm gonna see it how I can do this because normally the phone I'm using is how I can document um, while I'm recording y'all right now because I forgot my Osmo. But I'm gonna do a screen share and show you getting this all set up. All righty, so hopefully y'all can hear me while I'm doing a screen share here. So let's go into the Unify setup. We're gonna come all the way out to Site Manager and I need to see how I'm gonna change the inform to this because like I said if I scroll down this is everything that's on the um, the um, unified OS server that I set up I'm gonna see if I can set this up directly through here so I already made a St. James one here and what I need to do is add a new device uh, missing so I need to actually set this up and then I'm gonna change the code to move it over here so actually let me do it that way so let's go here to just plus we're going to can't find device we're gonna set it up as a standalone access point right here um, sign into your account to set up the console connected I'm not doing that this is just an access point connection by itself or well, actually access point manual setup. Let's go here to the bottom. Let's scan the code here. Code not supported. Get out of here. Let's try this again. Oh, that console setup. Access point manual setup. There we go. Set it without Unify, because I'm going to be adding this and migrating this over. Yes, I know, I know. Continue anyway. Yeah, I'm going to add their existing stuff in their existing settings so it'll be transparent. So it'll be the same SSID, it'll be the same password for everything. All right, so the device is updating. Let that finish, and then we'll add all this information over. All righty, everything is updated. Let's call this the Sanctuary AP. And I'm going to add in their information here. All right, we're adding an access point and but the hope is I'm going to change the inform code here to migrate over to um, my Unify OS server and add that to the um, system and the site that I had set up. All right, so at this point, I am just trying to find the network i'm trying to actually what i'm trying to do right now is probably the phone up so i can actually do this and then now i'm just trying to get the code so i can migrate this over um to manage this all right so we just did a test everything is fine we got the atem connected back over cable back to the hard drive we have them set up and he's going through their normal setup and they're using restream so that that will just go in and if you just hit on air
Once it stops blinking, you have a connection to restream. And I don't know if the restream is still showing. There it goes. So now if you go back to restream, you should see it under there. Yep. Go to the Chrome, the one over, one more. And there's it's restream, on. and there it is. There it is. Okay. So back to running through the ATEM is doing the live stream for them. And if I take you around, we got the Wi-Fi up. And I had to cut the OS server because it wasn't connecting. Um, so, you know, not that urgent, but I will guide that through in another video. But there you go. So that's about it. So again, sorry for not showing the OS server um, part. I'll do that in another video because I actually did migrate over Good Shepherd, Guildfield, and Big Red because um, they were old cloud keys um, and I migrated them over to that. So if y'all are interested in that, I might do a video. Our tag Crosstalk Solutions, he has a way more detailed video of that. But if you want me to do that, I will um, show you how to set up the server. But he already has a video that does all of that. So don't believe in reinventing the wheel but all right folks we'll be out of here all right so i know that was abrupt change <laughs> in my recording but i got pulled over into <laughs> we're, we're probably going to do the um the complete redoing of the church here um pretty much i got pulled into a meeting so i gotta write up a do an on-site estimate for everything that they have as well as the new administration wing um the youth center as well as one of the ladies' house they want me to install um, uh, some antennas and fix their network and all this other stuff. So, yay. <laughs> anyway, let me get to the computer. Let's drop everything. I took a picture of their the proposed floor plan of the new building. Um, so, we got another big Unify project as well as media and audio video and all the other stuff too as well. With maybe three digital walls sound system speakers net i mean the whole shebang anyway let's get home and let's go draw this thing up all right you know what i was gonna do this as a combined video but i'm gonna do this as a separate one anyway so that was getting saint james done but it looks like we might actually do some more so again saint james thank you so much for reaching out to me and pastor sykes thank you for reaching out i'm glad i was able to get y'all's internet up and working and got your audio better got your sound better got your network and your internet and your wi-fi better so um link is down below to everything i did and used and pretty much it was just a poe switch and a um, access point and learning how to uh terminate ethernet cables and um thankfully it wasn't something crazy just got to redo some of the stuff that was there in the area but if you ever need any help folks know that you can go to agenthomes.com consultations we do phone we do zoom we don't do on site we do all that fun stuff to help modernize your media ministry so if you like this type of content appreciate a like consider subscribing hit that bell the way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry thanks for watching folks this is aj catch you on the next video later